Hey guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Angelisa and on this channel we read, talk about, and obsess over books together. And today I'm going to be doing a quick little book haul for the month of February. I ended up having a lot of like pre-orders in the month of February and I did end up going to the bookstore and buying like six books on a specific day this month. <laughs> I was having a really bad mental health day and I just I needed to like hadn't been to the bookstore in a while and I just needed to be somewhere that like I felt like safe and like felt like home so I ended up going and buying books so I'm gonna show you guys all the books that I got this month this is like oh my god it's such a heavy stack this is the stack but I will go through each of them with you guys I think there's about like 15 or something like that and I'm not gonna talk about this in like any particular order um some of these i did unbox in a short slash tiktok video but i'll still just like explain what they're about or kind of just go through them really quick so the first one i have here is long way down by kristen beccarici i've pre-ordered all of the um i guess us slash canadian versions of these that are coming out slowly and i got basically the first i think all I have left is this one and then some kind of perfect, which I think is coming like next month or something. So I'm really excited to have the complete stack and read all of it. And I think it's just such a beautiful book stack, to be honest. Like it's so, so pretty. I'm just staring at them on my bookshelf right now. But yeah, so I'm really, really excited about this one. And I really just enjoyed the writing in the first one. And like I'm halfway through the second. So the next one I have that was also pre-order is Bride by Ali Hazelwood. So this came out on February 7th, I believe. And I'm actually really excited about this. This is her first like paranormal slash fantasy romance that she's written and I'm excited it's about like vampires and I think werewolves so it's giving kind of like Twilight slash the vampire diaries but in a rom-com so I'm really excited because I do like her writing so I think a cute little paranormal romance would be really fun I'll probably read this closer to Halloween or that kind of season even though I love Allie Hazelwood and her writing I can wait for this because I just love reading these types of books around that season next I have It's Not You Identifying and Healing from Narcissistic People by Romani Dervasula so I had seen this kind of pop up and it was recommended to me and so this is one of the books that I want to read and kind of add to my I don't want to call it like self-care but like I guess like a non-fiction I call it like my self-reflection books if that makes sense like I don't like to think of it as self-care even though it is self-care reading in general is self-care to me um or self-help I guess that's what they're called self-help books um I don't think of it as self-help yeah anyway it's not you it's supposed to be kind of just like all of the when I look through these types of books I always look at the contents like the table of contents to see what the different topics are and just to like say a few <laughs> i also kind of like biasly part one is called the narcissistic relationship and one of the titles of one of the sections in that part is death by a thousand cuts the narcissistic relationship so you know taylor swift obviously um part two is recognition recovery healing and growth so how to become like resistant towards narcissists and then how to like heal and grow if you decide to stay in that relationship so yeah if you happen to have a narcissistic person in your life and you want to kind of like work through how to um identify that and heal from it whether it be with that person or without you can try and pick this up and see if you'll like it i will let you guys know how it goes i will read it eventually the next one is adult children of emotionally immature parents that's it i'm just gonna say that next is <laughs> legends and lattes and bookshops and bone dust so i've heard a lot of good things about these books and interestingly they are like actually made differently like one of them has like a very flat paperback kind of feel and this one's got like the textured pages and they're like kind of beige but the book covers and everything are like the same and the same size so i don't know if the publisher just like changed paper in between but either way i'm really excited oh oh this one's like got like those end things oh maybe it's because this one just came out so it has that's really cool but this one's also signed by the author which i thought was really cool and i don't know i just i've heard really cool things about these books so i wanted to pick them up i hadn't bought them for a long time because i didn't really know what they were about and then my friend read them and she liked them so 
I thought I would pick them up too. Next we have How to Sell a Haunted House by Grady Hendrix. So this is the author of actually the Final Girl support group and I really liked most of this book like 80% of it and it was just the ending that I didn't like that much so I have high hopes for this one this is obviously about a haunted house that they're trying to sell these kids like inherit it from their parents after they die and she doesn't want to like the daughter doesn't want to work with the brother to do it but she needs his help and then it turns out that the house has its own plans and does not want to be sold so I'm very interested in this one I loved monster house when I was a kid so I think this would be really cool. Next we have Home Before Dark, which I think is also about like these kids who inherit a house and they're trying to sell it or this one girl who inherits a house and her father had like written a book about the house that they had lived in. So it's another like haunted housey thing and I love Riley Sager's writing. I thought for the longest time that I had all of Riley Sager's collection but it turns out that I didn't and I was at the bookstore and I saw this and I was like i need this book like it's the last one i think so yeah i'm very excited for this one as well next we have in my dreams i hold a knife by ashley winstead and her new book midnight is the darkest hour and i got this recommendation from my best friend rowan she really loved this book she said it's not like a typical thriller mystery and that it's a little bit different and i was really excited six friends one college reunion one unsolved murder so it also sounds like a dark academia which is fun and then this is her newer book and it's about Ooh, it says that it's for fans of Verity and a flicker in the dark. The synopsis is kind of reminding me of like Midnight Mass, like the Netflix series. So I don't know, but I am excited for this because where the crawdad saying meets Twilight meets Thelma and Louise. Like what? <laughs> like there's so many different things being said about this book, but I was really excited about it. And when I saw it, I was like, ooh, it's the author of In My Dreams I Hold a Knife, which Rowan really liked. So I picked up both because again, I was having a really bad mental health day and just had to go shopping. Um, next we have a pre-order that came in, Girl Abroad by L. Kennedy. I was so excited when this came in. I think it's such a beautiful, beautiful book. I think this is the Indigo exclusive one. It's L. Kennedy's like new, I don't know if it's gonna be a like solo or if she's gonna have like a companion series on this but i'm excited for this it's based in london and it just the cover just gives like all the vibes and i just realized it really matches this room really cutely so yeah i'm very excited about this and i love l kennedy's writing she's studying so basically abby is studying abroad for a year in london and she is she has this rock star father but he's very like overbearing i guess and she's ready to be free. And she, while she's there, she's like so excited to meet the girls that she's gonna be living with in this flat and it ends up being a bunch of boys. <laughs> so I'm actually very excited about this. And she's falling for not one, but two men that she can't have. And one of them is a rugby player and the other one is a musician who has a girlfriend. And she's lying to her dad about her living situation. So I'm very excited about this. I think it's gonna be so much fun. And it's actually kind of thick. It's like over 400 pages, so yeah i'm so excited about this i love El kennedy so the next one is only if only i had told her by laura nolan so this is like i, I would say companion novel companion novel to to if he had been with me and i think these are gonna look so cute next to each other on my shelf first of all because their spines match but yeah so i believe this is kind of like other point of views that take place at the same time as if he had been with me i'm pretty sure or maybe before or after or like a little bit of everything so yeah i'm excited about this i've seen a little bit of the reviews since it came out and it's kind of a mix of reviews like some people really loved it some people didn't like it so i'm gonna form my own opinion and read it and see when it ends up being for me next we have a tempest of tea by hasfa faisal so this book actually was in my books that you need to pre-order for 2024 like my most anticipated releases video and i read the synopsis to this and thought it sounded so freaking cool and i literally pre-ordered it like i knew nothing about this book until i was like doing research for that video and i want because i wanted to find out like more books that were coming out in 2024 and i started reading through books and i was like this is so cool because it's why save the world when you can have tea on the streets of white roaring arthi casimir is a criminal mastermind and collector of secrets her prestigious tea room transforms into an illegal blood house by night catering to the vampires feared by society but when her establishment is threatened arthi is forced to strike an unlikely deal with an alluring adversary to save it and she can't do the job alone calling on some of the city's most skilled outcasts arthi hatches a plan to infiltrate the sinister glittering vampire society known as the ethereum but not everyone in her rat tag crew is on her side and as the truth behind the heist unfolds arthi finds herself in the midst of a conspiracy that will threaten the world as she knows it from the new york times best-selling author of we hunt the flame 
comes the first book in a hotly anticipated fantasy duology teaming with romance and revenge, led by an orphan girl willing to do whatever it takes to save herself in the kingdom. Dark, action-packed, and swoon-worthy. This is House of Faisal's Better Than Ever. So I thought it sounded really cool, and I know We Hunt the Flame is really popular as well, so I think her writing has already been established as, like, really good. And it just sounded so cool, and I loved the cover and just the entire concept. And, yeah, so I'm really excited about it. And then next we have The Framed Woman of Ardemore House by Brandy Chalais. So this is another one that I talked about in that video, and I am excited about this one too so it's kind of like i'm pretty sure it's like a cozy mystery i don't think it's really a thriller like it's a murder mystery and it has a neurodivergent character which i always like cozy mysteries with neurodivergent characters for some reason is like a sub genre that i just love so much like the maid is like that and it was so much fun to read and i actually loved the main character so much so i have a feeling i'll love this one too but basically this girl she loses her job and her marriage all in one year but she couldn't be happier because she gets to take possession of a possibly haunted estate in north yorkshire i don't even know if i said that right but when she gets there, the body of the groundskeeper turns up with three bullets in him. And so she finds herself maybe in danger, but also a potential suspect. So the title kind of says like the framed woman of the Ardmore house. So I have a feeling that there's some sort of like, obviously someone is framed in this and she's probably trying to like prove her innocence while also like figure out what actually happened on her land that like she's trying to obtain. So yeah, I'm excited for this book. When I saw the synopsis, I thought it was also like really interesting. The the last few books I have on here, I unboxed in that short, but one of them I didn't. So the first one that I have is The Secret Garden and it's these are all like painted editions and I just want to like show you guys kind of up close in this video. So it's absolutely beautiful. It's a whole garden wrapped around and then it has gold foiled edges and also like gold foiling for the title here on the front i mean sorry this is the back it has like a quote on the back and then the front has it here as well and i think it's just so so gorgeous and it also comes with this like beautiful like slip cover to put on top of it to a protect it um and also like i think it's just an added level of like beautifulness to it like i'm so excited to put these on display up here but yeah so that's the secret garden um next we have winnie the pooh which i know that sounds very like weird but this is actually my favorite like my favorite childhood story and i had winnie the pooh everything like i had the bedding i had all the movies like the vhs's i like i watched it very often and i just i loved winnie the pooh i loved piglet i loved tigger like the or like they are my, my my gang from when i was a child but um this is the painted edition and it's little winnie with christopher robin and i think it's so so cute and i like i'm literally thinking i'm going to like freaking rewatch winnie the pooh i don't know if it's on disney plus but i'm just in love with this and i'm like gonna cry because it's like uh, guys i'm about to get my period so it's been like so emotional today but i just think it's so cute and i love these painted editions i think that they're so so special whoops like my hands just don't work you know what i mean like i would like it to work but it's not working for some reason there we go and yeah it also has a slip over it and like the back has a little synopsis too next we have the great gatsby by f scott fitzgerald this is another one that like i absolutely love the slip is like this navy blue on the back and then like the clear on the front with the navy blue and it's all like gold foiling again and the, like tell me this isn't just absolutely gorgeous like i don't want to like open it all the way because i don't want to like damage it but i'll do this really quick so you can just it's so pretty and again the gold foiling like i just i can't like it's so like oh. this at the back says let us learn to show our friendship for a man when he is alive and not after he is dead like i love that the quote they put didn't have to do with like love for daisy like it actually had to do with like something so much bigger like this book isn't just about romance like it really is about gatsby and like his friendship with nick as well so Okay, so the last one that I have here is Peter Pan. So this one I didn't unbox in that video because it came after and I forgot that I ordered it. But I also, like, Peter Pan is another one of mine that I just love. And look at how, like, what? The Peter Pan in the middle here. And then we've got them flying through the city. 
but also like the whole bow and a little mermaid like just perfect like so perfect sometimes I'm just like what is going on like these are just beautiful and I think I'm gonna start collecting these painted editions because they're just so pretty like collecting books is a whole other hobby that I just enjoy doing and especially these special editions like this like they are just they're like they're literal art like they're painted editions and they're just their literal art and that's, that's all I have to say. So anyway, that is the book haul, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below if you've got any new books or if you have any books that are on your, like, to-purchase list. I honestly, like... I hadn't gone book shopping in a while. Everything that I've been getting recently has been like pre-orders, but this month I kind of just like, I went book shopping and I got pre-orders. So that's what happened there. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I hope to see you in the next video. I love you guys so much.